Welcome back to another Boom Beach video, guys. Today we are going to be attacking War Factory with the YOLO strategy. And since uh, there are 10 troops and only 8 landing crafts, I decided to leave 2 troops out today, uh, including Warriors and Cryoneers. So let's hop right into it. Try and uh, take it out here. I, I'm, I think we're going to be able to do it. I was looking at this War Factory. Nothing too... Uh, too special about it except all those hot pots kind of in the middle there i'm gonna try and avoid them best i can but i'm not sure that is gonna happen but let's uh let, let's place our troops down i'm gonna let the scorcher kind of lead right there and as our troops are all grouped together on the beach right there i'm getting a little bit nervous so we're gonna throw out our first shock bomb shocking the doom cannon since it was just uh it was bullying our scorcher a little bit there so we're gonna try and protect it Ooh, I actually had to uh, step away from the attack there for a second, so I'm gonna see what my troops are doing. It looks like on autopilot, my uh, yellow strategy doing a pretty good job. They are taking out what they need to, and bullet is a little bit low there. So we gave him a little bit of a, a sip right there, so hopefully that'll keep him alive for the time being. But uh, as we have one bombardier, uh, three grenadiers left, and then a couple other random troops, Troops. Our first attack, I will say, is a success, um, especially since we have 133 energy. I just invested all that energy into a bunch of barrages on the rocket launchers there. Let's throw a couple artillery. I kind of wasted some, but that is okay. And uh, looks like we let bullets die there for a second. But uh, this first attack did very well, and I... There's a chance we might be able to take it out in two attacks here with the YOLO strategy, meaning it is uh, not too bad of a strategy. Once we do defeat War Factory, I'm hoping to get a couple player base attacks in, um, so we'll see how useful it is. I've done this attack strategy every once in a while, but it's like a different experience every time, I swear. Um, but here we go. It looks like our tanks are just kind of picking off building by building. I'm just going to retreat. We're going to save that free energy for the next attack as I'll drop down our troops. Kind of, uh, we'll, we'll drop them down in the same spot and then flare upwards. And that should be a good path for the next one. But look at all of our rewards and look at all the troops that we did lose. We did, see, we did save a couple tanks at the end, so... Uh, we didn't lose everything, but let our troops respawn. There we go. All troops are ready. And now we hop into the next one here. So throw down our troops. And then we are going to throw a flare up into the left there. And, uh, you know, our troops should just collapse onto that HQ. You know, those sniper towers. The one thing that might get a little bit annoying is that shock blaster. So we'll just try and take it out with, uh, with some barrage and artillery here. And that is one tanky shock blaster there. So we're going to be working on that a couple more seconds here. Uh, as we do build up the energy and the courage to defeat... Uh, uh, what seems to be a building with more health than the HQ. Can a miracle box of critters finish off that shock blaster? I doubt it, especially with the uh, three boom cannons hitting it, but... Um you know, one more artillery should take it out. Good job, troops. You're doing a great job so far. I want to applaud you. Now, this this war factory, when I did scout it out, I was like, oh boy, that this one's going to be an easy one, you know. There's, there's not any grapplers in an inconvenient location or in general all the all the prototypes <laughs> that war factory decided to place were essentially avoidable and then uh you know the the shield generators protected by the machine guns come on give me a challenge here uh, Hammerman's imitation game making you look foolish right now but as our troops are hitting on that HQ that hot pod did take out a handful so they're putting up as much of a fight as they can our scorcher doing a great job and it looks like our zookas bombardiers tanks grenadier all, all the troops are uh, defeating war factory there so there we go two attacks pretty quick one with the YOLO strategy so let's hop into a couple player base attacks see if we can uh, progress this strategy uh, into a viable PvP attack strategy here so uh, let's start it out easy with the level 53 here so we're gonna throw down our scorcher throw down our bullets 
Um, we're gonna hold on to our riflemen for now because we'll kind of use the the riflemen as a box of critters, so to speak. We'll place them as the attack goes on. Um, actually, I don't even know if we'll need them as a as a distraction troop as our, our scorcher and bullet should do a good job taking most of the fire. So we'll just throw down our riflemen and let them have their way. Targeting the shock blasters. Good job troops. 85 energy. Uh, let's just speed up this attack by throwing a couple barrages on the HQ. Doing a, a bit of damage to it I, I might add there and we'll be able to throw a few artillery. So this level 53 you know when we're at this level or when you're at this metal counts, you're fully uh, you're fully pushing based on your attacks and not your defenses. So, uh, not not really a challenge to the to the people that aren't really pushing here. But we will retrain our one lost rifleman in that battle, and we'll hop into more of a higher level opponents here. See what they have to bring. I'm gonna throw two boxes of critters on the landing because I don't think our scorcher and bullets would do a uh, good job taking it out, and I probably should have I, I should have held on to my to my riflemen for a couple seconds here because they kind of just got obliterated on the walk up, and we are gonna throw a shock bomb, taking out the shock launcher, rocket launcher, and uh, hot pot there. So good job. For the next building, we are gonna take out the shock blaster. He does have a nice statue, so I think a barrage two artillery will do a good job there and now what do we have to worry about uh scorcher low health probably gonna get taken out there not even gonna bother and now our front line will consist of three heavies private bullets and the remaining riflemen so uh what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw two barrages onto the two boom cannons Paired with artillery, that should take both out. There we go. Uh, getting a little bit nervous there. The last barrage bullet was able to take it out. We'll throw a shock bomb. And honestly, uh, this this base put up more of a fight than I was expecting. It took out a, a, uh, a lot of troops early on. Now, the remaining defenses aren't that intimidating to me, but... Um, this guy definitely got a couple diamonds from my attack here, so we'll finish this one off, and we'll hop into like one or two more attacks here, try and, uh, pick out a level 68, see if we're able to attack a max player essentially, but there we go, taking it out, and, uh, your, your ice statues did not do their job, well, I guess they did, they made the, the attack interesting, so to speak, and you guys can tell by the, by the casualties there, it, it was not an easy attack, but, it also wasn't that, uh, it, I, I didn't really doubt I was going to lose to that. So here we go. On to the next one. And this is where I might get a little bit more nervous. Um, so we are going to throw down our Scorcher, our Bullets, our Zookas. I'm going to hold on to the Riflemen for now. And the Medics and the Tanks. There we go. So we're going to keep our Heavies and Riflemen. And Grenadiers, apparently, we'll throw those down right away. Because they're ranged enough where I'm not too worried about the uh, the damage that happens on the beach. And then, as we do get a little bit of a dent into the base, I am going to throw our Riflemen down. And then I will throw down our Heavies. So, as soon as we take out both of those Flamethrowers, I think we will. Our Scorcher is about to die, unfortunately. We're going to throw down our Heavies right now. And then as soon as that flamethrower dies, even though no buildings are targeting it, I might have to throw him down a little bit early because we need more of a front line. So there we go. And we are going to pop an energy drink. I It's kind of tough to evaluate how the rest of this attack will go. I have 100 energy and I haven't thrown too many shock bombs. So we, we, we have a lot of potential for this base. We're going to have to make sure to keep that hot pot shocked because that will just tear apart my troops. We're actually going to get Bullet to drink, kind of get him near full health as he runs into three boom cannons straight on right there. We'll throw the shock bomb. And now it looks like we will be able to take out this base in a, in, in a couple seconds here. So uh, this, this attack, about the same as the last one, but we're going to throw some artillery here. That should... It should uh, do a little bit of damage, and now that those boom cannons are coming off cooldown, Bullet is at full health, and boom, there goes our uh, second to final attack. We'll do one more with this. I'm having a good time attacking with it. YOLO strategy. It can be a little bit stressful, uh, hard to gauge, but look at just all those casualties. That's where the real entertainment comes in, when you, when you have to retrain eight different troops. 
Um, but here we go. I kind of just clicked on a random base. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, th it looks like this will be our final victim, or it could be. I could be the final victim for today. I guess. I guess we don't know yet. Uh, but here we go. I'm gonna throw a barrage onto the shock launcher. I'll throw a barrage onto the other one as well. Um, I don't. I don't want one of them to be lonely. You know, they they each got a friend there. They're they're best friends. But this base kind of tanky. He got he got those ice statues there, so that's gonna be a little bit stressful. But taking out those shock launchers, the only thing I really have to worry about is the boom cannons if they do hit on my tanky units. But uh, also at the same time, we have bullet on the right hand side, not really a central placement of him, which I, I kind of don't like here. And I'm hoping our Grenadiers can take out a lot of those mines. Let's see that inaccuracy. There we go. And now th this attack, it's not going as well as I was expecting. I accidentally popped an energy drink there. Bullet has taken like no fire so far. And uh, we do have 150, 160 energy and it just keeps going up. I'm not doing a good job spending here, but saving up uh, just to get the extra firepower at the end there. Did we lose our Bombardiers? Uh, where are they sitting? There they are. There they are. They are chilling by the tanks and grenadiers. I'm proud of them for staying alive so far, even though we did lose one. But uh, looks like this... We're, we're going to have almost 200 energy built up here by the end of the attack, but I'm going to spend it, throw some barrages, and that should be the... Uh, the nail in the coffin there as we take out Mark, but that's gonna be it for me today. We hit some YOLO, and uh, with the YOLO strategy, I stepped away from the attack for like 30 seconds on the War Factory, and they did their thing. They did a great job, so good for my YOLO troops. So we're gonna upgrade the Flamethrower, one of our final upgrades on the base as we close down on uh, a max level base, but uh, yeah, we'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.